Even though your iPad lets you do tons of great stuff when you're out and about, there are plenty of reasons why you might want to access your home computer instead. I'm Sharon Vakin for CNET.com with an easy way to control any computer with your iPad. First of all, if your mom is always asking you for tech support, it might just be easier to take control of her computer instead. To do this, I'm going to use a free program called Team Viewer. Any computer you want to control needs to have this program installed, and it's compatible with Mac and PC. Go to TeamViewer.com and download the program on your computer. When you open it, you'll see an ID and password. We'll come back to that in a second. Now go to your iPad and get the free app from the App Store. Launch it and enter the ID and password from your computer. Hit connect and watch the magic happen. You'll see a helpful screen with gesture tips. For instance, use one finger as your mouse pointer, drag with two fingers to scroll, pinch to zoom, and double tap and drag to move windows. So now you can show your mom or a friend how to change a setting or maybe even send yourself a file from your computer. But what if you want to actually stream media from your computer to your iPad remotely? Instead of taking up space on your iPad by storing movies on it, you can stream from your desktop computer with Air Video. Go to InMethod.com, then Downloads, and grab the Air Video server for Mac or PC. Open it, and you'll see a window where you can add folders you want to share with your iPad. And it's pretty neat because you can even share iTunes playlists right here. Now go to the Remote tab and check Enable Access from Internet. Also make sure Automatically Map Port is checked. Make note of the pin, and we'll be using it in a sec. Next, head over to Settings and check Require Password. Make sure you set a strong one unless you want to give hackers a free pass to your computer. Finally, make sure the server is turned on. Now head over to your iPad and download the Air Video app, which is actually compatible with all iOS devices. Hit the plus button and select Enter Server Pin. Enter that pin you noted from the Remote tab and you'll be given instant access to videos on your computer. Just remember that your remote computers will need to stay on and connected to the internet for this to work, and that if your iPad isn't connected to Wi-Fi while doing this, you're definitely hogging your data usage. As for streaming music, check out my video on how to stream music from the cloud on iOS devices. And if you have any questions, come ask me on my Facebook page and visit howto.cnet.com for more videos like this. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the interwebs.